So we're going to watch a video clip about an innovative movement in green architecture, also known as sustainable architecture. Architects are finding all kinds of new ways to create environmentally friendly buildings. We talked a little about green architecture last time, so you know it's a popular approach to building design. The architect's goal in this kind of design is to minimize the impact that new construction has on our environment. That means using materials that the builders can get locally, and also materials that require as little energy as possible. That's one reason local building supplies are important. It takes less energy to move them to the construction site. Also, the materials used in sustainable architecture should be renewable. That means using materials that are naturally replaced quickly, such as bamboo, or wood from certain fast-growing trees. A sustainably designed building also utilizes as few resources as possible when people are in it. For example, the walls might be designed to help keep the air temperature inside cool when it's very hot outside. This means the building needs less electricity to run an air conditioning system inside the building. Another goal in green architecture is to reuse materials as much as possible. For example, an architect may use the byproducts of another industry as building material. A byproduct is something created in the process of creating something else. So let's look at an example of that. Very large metal shipping containers are utilized to send products all over the world. These containers are also the focus of a new model of sustainable architecture. In many places around the globe, designers and architects are transforming used shipping containers into homes. Some people might think of the containers as junk, just a byproduct of trade between countries. At the end of the video, the narrator says we might expect these to be ticky-tacky homes. The word ticky-tacky means something is made cheaply and with low-quality materials. On the contrary, these living spaces can be really modern and luxurious. And I think the home in the video looks really nice. So think about this question. Can you see yourself living in a home made from reused shipping containers? Let's watch this video clip now and we'll discuss your thoughts after. Ian Felton is proud of his new digs. I always have a a real joy at the surprise on, on people's faces when they visit for the first time. And, and, you know, they're like, wow. It's not that the place is a nice modern living space or that it passes the location, location, location test perched beside the river. Ian Felton's apartment is a revelation because of what it's made out of. It's got all the comforts of home and the view isn't bad either. But the important view here is from the outside in. This whole building is made out of what would otherwise be junk, out of shipping containers, and it may be part of the future. Look carefully. The entire building is actually a giant Lego set, a pile of blocks made out of the byproducts of modern trade. The shipping containers used to ferry goods around the world. The problem is the trade is mostly one way, Goods are shipped from the Far East to Europe and America. Sending empty containers back doesn't make sense. It's cheaper to make new ones. To ship um, 40 feet of air would not Wrap be very sensible. Wrapped in a steel shell. Exactly. That not totally sensible. Sense. No. No. So more sensible to do what we're doing. What Eric Reynolds is doing is recycling the containers into buildings, homes, schools, offices. Lie them on their sides, pile them up, stand them on edge, cut window shapes into them. It's a handy, quick, and cheap way to build. Our aim was to find something that we could construct reliably to good standard that we could rent to people at a low cost. Several projects have already been built in London. There's a plan for one in New York and inquiries from other places and satisfied customers who impress their friends. They kind of assume, I guess, that I'm living in some kind of squat, you know, in some rusty old steel box. Mm. Then when they actually come into the space, as you can see, it's a, it's a lovely home. Unlike the little boxes in the song, these aren't made of ticky-tacky, and they don't all look the same. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London.